Yes, I'm Allison Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner in real time, step by step, so you can follow along with me. And these are some paintings that I have here and I'll be teaching you these real soon. And the only paints I'm going to use today is white and ultramarine blue and red and yellow. And we're going to mix all our colors from those three primary colors plus white. And these are the brushes that I'm going to use today and that's a filbert and that one is a size 12. Now like I say all brands have different sizes so it's hard to tell you the sizes just make sure it's a medium depending on the size of your canvas. I'm using 11 by 14 canvas today. This one here is a 9 by 12 that I did the painting on. I also have another filbert brush it's a smaller version and it um, could be a size paint all over it so it's hard for me to see the size but it's smaller probably a size 6 and then I have um, an angular brush any angular brush and I have a bristle brush it's flat or it can be a filbert as long as it's, it's um, bristle, the bristles are sticking out. The um, filberts that I just showed you here, they're uh, made of uh, synthetic or nylon, whatever you have there. And I also have a round brush with a pointy top, if you have one of those. If you don't have this stuff, don't worry, we will come up with different brushes that you can use. And I also have a liner brush. So get all your materials together and that way you won't have to stop and go look for stuff. And that's a flat. And these are also synthetic or nylon. And it's a chiseled edge. And also you might want to have a toothpick. Okay, a toothpick is good to have or something with a sharp edge on it sharp pointy stiff edge you can even have a stylus it has no brush on it just a pointy edge there okay so that's the materials you need and of course your jug of water and your paper towels your paper plate your palette and we will get started okay. I had to change cameras if you see something a little different here uh, the other one needs the battery charged up and I had charged it but didn't get through the whole thing so just in case this is different than the uh, the picture quality is different or whatever okay just to let you know it's on the go so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my white and I'm going to there's a little bit of purple going in there and I'm going to take my small filbert and I'm going to go on my little happy face here and I'm going to pull back maybe uh, on the chiseled edge pull back on that one here one here one here and one here so we can get it started okay and then we will put some more in between another one here another one here another one here and another one here. nice big one is what we're making a nice big flower good Good, good, good. So we're going to have to make three values in there. We'll do that after, okay? So let's put another one right here. You can do the, the four on each side if you want to, or you can just put them in whenever you want. Whenever and wherever you want, okay? So just put in your petals. And... We need to put some shadows in there so you can see them. So let's put one in with some shadows. Get, put some blue, darker color here like this. Take some of the color from wherever you can find some color. And a little bit of white. And then we'll do another one here. Let's take this one as if the petals are coming off the edges here. Petal here, petal here. Just touch and pull. Touch and pull. I mean, sorry, touch. Just touch for now. See what that looks like. You can touch and pull too. Okay. 
and then you can shape them up. There we go. There's one down there. So touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch and pull in. And we'll put our white on top of that. These here, they don't have enough color. So we'll go back over them with a darker color. We have to have our three values or it's not going to look like nothing, only a blob of white. Okay, so let's put our three values. And so I'm glad I did that because it shows you that all you're getting is a blob of white, no color. Put in your, just touch and pull in with your filbert. Put in all the leaves, all the flower petals that you want. See, already it's got a bit of color too, isn't that cool? And we'll do another one. Let's see, let's see. Another one over here. And maybe this is coming down too. So just touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch and pull in, touch and pull in in you don't even have to pull you just touch and make sure you push your push your uh, brush in towards that center piece there okay all right all right with a small filbert brush uh, you can also use um, another brush whatever works for you okay uh, anything that's that will work for you chiseled edge you know anything that's nylon nylon sorry uh, nylon and uh, synthetic you know these kind of brushes will work the bristle br brushes may be a little harder to deal with right now on these soft petals okay so let's go with our brown again here's our brown up here we made our brown by going into red and blue and yellow Red, blue, and yellow give you a nice brown, okay? Red, blue, and yellow. See that? Isn't that nice? Nice brown. Hmm. Now, uh, let's see where else we can put one. Maybe one over here. A little smiley face if you want the petals all around. A little smiley face here. Maybe a little sad face down here. All right. Make sure you see that. And wherever else you want some. Okay, I'm just going to do those for now. Clean off your brush because it's brown. And then put your uh, purplish color on there or blue. Any any color that uh, we can get an underpainting for our flower petals. Okay? Maybe even a bit of red. Whatever you want as long as it's got an underpainting. So let's say we got a petal here touch and pull touch and pull touch and pull i'm making a big one there yes i am maybe i'll put maybe i'll just put them on top touch and pull touch and pull touch and pull in all around the flower i don't know should i put some on the bottom it's kind of cute and we'll do one on the other side. Let's do touch and pull in. Another small one, a big one, and another one here and here. Pull in and maybe some little small ones on the bottom just to make it. We'll try to get some different shapes to your flowers. If you want to, you can go online and look up some daisies or petals different flowers and see the layout of them and then you can see where the short petals go and the long petals to make them look like they're in different positions okay because you don't want them all the same all right hey a little sad face down there where are you oh there you are sad it's down there all by self so let's get that one and we'll bring the petals down so you can either touch and touch 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 and pull up towards the center <clears throat> I lost my voice touch and pull towards the center that's cute isn't it isn't that cute oh it's stuck all right so it's stuck to the paper all right good job 
So let's lighten up those petals here now. So let's get some white and touch the tips, pull in, just touch and pull in. We really need to keep some shadow. Now you can also put purple on one side of your brush. Where are we? Oh, there we are. <laughs> purple on one side and white on the other. And then you can take the purple side and the white side and get two colors all in one. Same with here, here, here. Touch and pull, touch and pull over what you just did. Try to keep some of your purple just so we can have, because I know they are pretty, pretty white, but in order to be able to see the white, we have to have a dark. All right, now you want to put some petals in between that. Let's do that. If you want, get some darker color. Touch and pull, touch, 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 touch. Just to thicken it up a little bit more and then put some white on top of what you just did now when they dry we'll go over and, and do some more of those again all right we'll add some more petals and straighten them up a bit better okay yep <laughs> a little crooked there okay Good. Okay, so let's add some white to the other ones. So let's just pick the petals, start at the top and pull in a bit. I'm just trying to keep some of the shadow color. Want to get our three values. Good. Touch and pull. Sort of leave the bottoms dark. Touch and pull. Touch and pull. Touch and pull. Get little edges here. Just touch. Take your brush and just touch. All right. And your little lonely person, person, <laughs> little lonely flower down here. Touch the edge and pull. Touch. Touch. And touch. Oops, I made a boo-boo. Oh well, that's okay. And we got a couple over here that we need to lighten up. So touch, pull, touch, touch, touch. See how I'm leaving the bottoms? And that gives it a really nice rounded look. Isn't that cool? Nice, okay, a little bit here. Here, touching just the top. Pulling in a little bit. Good, 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 good. Good. I think that is uh, a good idea. There we go. Now we'll put in some red flowers. Alright, some of those little red ones. Let's put in some of those. Okay, we're almost close to the end of it now. You can do whatever you want with it. If I don't, you know, there's lots more you can do, but I'm just uh, giving you the basics. So I'm going to tap into, not tap in, I'm going to pull in some red. And on both sides of my brush is fine. And a little bit of white on the top. All right. Now I got all kinds of colors here, which is an accident. It might be a happy accident. You'll never know. Let's see. All right, I'll, I'll just put more paint on. Just watch. I get all kinds of stuff going on there. So uh, we're not going to move our brush around because if you do, it'll get really messy. So pick a spot that you want this red flower with the red side down. Okay, let's see if I can do it over here so, you, so my arm won't get in the way. Here we go. That's better. So I touch on top of that touch and lift. Now, I had too much water on my brush. I can see the water running down there. See that? So make sure your brush is not too wet. All right? If your brush is too wet, it can really make a mess on you. 
it can make a mess just like I did right there but we got a decent pretty cute little flower going on here all right let's make a couple more of those so you can make them wherever you want you can even darken them up to get a, a another value so just add a bit of blue to your red and white so look I got all kinds of colors going on there we'll try some different ways to do it so let's try another one say let's pick a spot pick a spot this is your filbert brush touch and lift nice let's do another one maybe over here touch and lift okay good and let's do some more let's pick up a little red if your brush is really dirty just pick up only red and we will touch decisions decisions touch and lift a little more white and hmm 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 so you want to balance out the painting you don't want them all in one straight line you know what I mean like you want them all over the place so they don't look strange let's see let's see maybe here all right maybe one I don't know pick a spot for me pick a spot tell me I can't hear you over here okay over there then <laughs> how about maybe another one right here touch and lift we'll have to put a little stem there for that one there it is hiding on you okay okay let's put in some extra stems for some of the flowers pull through some green some yellow make sure your brush is not too wet and looks like this one here needs a stem touch on the edge where you think you're all right so get darker color green make sure your your green is nice and dark and then you put dark green on one end and then yellow on the other side okay and then you can put the dark side down and pull and pull there we go good get some more paint when you need it so you can do this all day if you want all right even when I finish you can certainly get more flowers and I'd love to see your paintings if you if you want to show it to me what you what you did and if you can you know make it up a little differently than mine you know put your own kind of flowers and I'd love to see it I love looking at your paintings and just email it to me alisonpryoryahoo.com alisonpryor at yahoo.com I have it in the description I'm sure it's there that way you can copy copy it and then paste it into your email and it'll make it a bit easier now so just adding a few stems just playing around there we go whoops yeah a little bit of white to that yellow just to get it to brighten up so you know the more stems you add it should be really nice you know it's not going to hurt you know just whatever you think fill it up so pretty I don't really need to do too much with that because I like I said you know you are going to do it your way I'd rather for you to do a lot of these your way um, now uh, I want to show you but I'm just showing you techniques to help you uh, to help you get this started just think of this as just a starting point this is not a finished product okay I want you to finish it I want you to add your own stuff okay so I got a toothpick we have some yellow 
I'm going to go with the yellow with our toothpick and on these brown little smiles that we made we're going to put all little yellow dots okay that'll give it the, the flower the way it's supposed to be you add more highlights to your flowers and like I said whatever you want to do and look up flowers look up the flowers and see where the shadows are and where the stems and what way does the shape of the stems and don't just follow what I'm doing here because I'm doing it pretty fast to get this video done for you so it may not be perfect you know I want to get this done for you and when you're doing a video I mean I do see some videos on there I look at a lot of videos still I mean I learn a lot from other people's amazing artists out there and some of their paintings are amazing and what they do is you know because they have it's not easy doing it all like this so what they some of them have to do is they have to time lapse it because they have to work on it and then they will show it to you when it's perfected I don't do that I just do it in real time so that's why my paintings um, may have a few things that need to go in that I didn't put in maybe I forgot maybe you know I didn't get it done perfect maybe I didn't put the shadow in the right, right place at times because I'm doing a video and I'm doing it in real time and I don't want to spend four or five six hours on a video she won't watch it, it'd be bored. So at least this way we get to learn some techniques and then you learn from other people, from art books. This is just your stepping stone, okay? It's a stepping stone to learning. All these little bits and pieces of, of techniques that I can give you that I've learned over the years. All right. <laughs> So I'm just telling you so that you look at it and you say, well, she didn't do this and she didn't do that. And she, It's only because I'm doing a video and I, and I am just going by the very, very basics because I'm mostly doing this for beginners. And beginners need to start off easy. See, this is the one I did earlier. So that's cut. You know, I took my time doing it. It looks pretty good. So now we're going to do our butterfly. Okay, I'll do a butterfly with you. So now we have to find a place for a butterfly to sit. Okay, so let's say the butterfly is sitting around there. I picked that spot there. So let's, the butterfly probably wants uh, to sit on that flower. So what I did was I drew it out with a pen first. And I tried to get the shape by looking at a picture. So I came up with a shape like I brought a line down here. Okay. And then I came down. another little line here and then I came out like I made letter V right here there's your letter V okay and I came around and I met up with this line here all right so straight line here and then I made the letter V and then I came around to meet the front of the there we go okay is that the easy way to do it <laughs> I didn't know how I was going to teach that, but that's easy, isn't it? So just a straight line, a letter V, and then the other line to meet up with that first line, on the end of that first line. And you can have any kind of butterfly, any color you want, okay? So let's get out our little tiny brush, liner brush. I think it might be the easiest thing to work with. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a dark color, maybe a really dark ultramarine blue and red. Get a really, really dark color. And put that, I'm going to trim that out here where I did the pen. That was a pen I used. And I'm going to go over that with my dark color paint. And fill that in there. And there we go. Now if you use a pen... You may not be able to erase it and it might be hard to paint over it, so be careful. Practice first. Practice it first on a piece of paper, okay? All right, we got the outline done and now clean your brush and we'll get orange. I'm getting orange. You get whatever you want, all right? So I'm picking up a bit of red and yellow. And I am going to fill that in there gotta make it a bit more 
I set him. I set the little butterfly right on a red flower and now the butterfly is red so it could blend. So that could have been a mistake. The flower would have been better if the flower had been a different color. Because look, I did this here on green. So the green and the red are complementary to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that red roll, red flower into green. Alright? Because see how it just is just it's not complementing each other. Okay. So we'll do that and before I do that, we're going to finish off what we're doing here. So get your dark, so you got your orange in, so take your dark paint. Take your dark paint. Pick it up and we're going to make a line from that pointy edge that we had there, make a little line, bring it in the center, and then take a couple of lines off of it just to indicate some of these because butterflies have those little lines, don't they? And take your toothpick, pick up some white on your toothpick, and just dab a little bits of white wherever you want to put them, okay? Uh, some butterflies have some little white spots on them. You know, not all of them, but just gives it a bit of a cute little look. Pretty far away, but this camera that I'm using now, the other one, the battery went down, but this one here doesn't focus really great. That's why I, I got another one. So hopefully you can see that. <clears throat> now, I'm going to change that flower. That's, that's kind of throwing me off there now. But it's good to know that stuff, isn't it? It's good to know that, right? So red and green complement each other. It's on the complementary on the color wheel. And as you can see right now, it proves it. That orange in the butterfly doesn't complement the red. So we're going to change that to green. And we'll find it. So I'm going to put green on one side of my brush. My filbert. Okay. I don't know how this is going to turn out because I think that's still wet. But I'm going to do it anyway. And I'm going to touch and lift. There we go. That's better. That will bring it out better. Um... Yeah, so that will bring it out better. So the red and the green will will look better. Now, I'm going to put another red. Now that I lost that one, I'm going to put red on my brush and a bit of white. And I'm going to put another one of those red. Let's see, where can I put that one to? I don't know. Let me see. Let me see. Maybe here. Can you see me? There it is. Okay, I'm going to get more red. I made too white. Touch and lift. Now you got a little nice little flower. Okay, nice. Alright, I'm going to brighten up a couple of these other flowers again. And I think I'm going to call it finished. Now, like I said, there's lots more you can do with it. But, um, I'm going to call it finished. We can have a finished painting. So I think this flower here needs a little bit of brightness. I'm going to touch and pull just the top, just the top, just the top, just the top, just the top. Pull in a little bit. There we go. All right. That's good. You can do more with the other ones. They need, they need a bit of brightness. Whatever needs a little extra work, just go back over it. Do your final details. Your final details will be your highest, brightest highlights. And anything that you need to adjust or fix up, okay? So, <clears throat> not just your highlights. It's anything that needs extra work. You want to add more flowers. I don't know. Whatever needs adjusting. So, like I said, if the light is coming in on this side, I may have too much light on that flower. So, we'll go back to darken it up a little bit. All right, because it should be in shadow. So, we'll just bring that down a bit because we want it in shadow. We don't want it to put more shadow in there just so 
it shows that it's over in, in the shade. All right, so just tone it down a bit, that's all. So have a look for your light. If there's a bit of light coming in on maybe the edge here, you can put a little more highlight on that. You know, just have a look around, see where you think the lights are coming in. So I think I could do this all day now. I mean, I could keep going and going and going, but I got to end it. I got to know. I got to say goodbye till next time. <sighs> goodbye, everybody. Happy painting from Allison Pryor. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.